Hi guys. So for today's project block, you are going to be doing a sketch of your totem animal. Okay. So yesterday during project block, we learned about totems. So I read a little bit of information about totems and how they're carved. And then I posted some links of all different animals, spirit animals, right? I also posted a fun quiz. You don't have to take the quiz. It was just for fun to see what kind of animal you came up with based on your answers. Okay. But the most important thing I wanted you to do yesterday was I wanted you to choose an animal that has a similar personality to you. So the example that I used yesterday was if you're very outgoing and adventurous, you probably do not want to pick an animal that is shy and likes to stay home. Okay. So you want to find an animal that you're like, Oh, that sounds like me. You know, if you're really silly and funny and like playing tricks, then you want to find an animal that's silly and funny and likes to play tricks. Maybe it's the Raven. So yesterday you were supposed to choose an animal today for project block. You are going to sketch and draw what your animal is going to look like. You need to use a whole piece of paper. So regular printing paper is fine. So eight by 11 and a half, and you are going to take up basically that whole sheet of paper. So that whole sheet of paper should be your animal face. Okay. Um, some animals do have body parts on there. Like some animals have their whole body. Um, other animals, it's just their face. So whatever you choose, that whole piece of paper should be your animal. Okay. I did a sketch of mine. However, I'm going to keep mine a secret and I'm not going to show you yet because I want to see what you guys come up with. So for today, you're just doing your sketch. Okay. Tomorrow is when you'll, when you'll, um, do your final draft and add your color. But for right now, sketch it out, add some designs. You can go back to yesterday's post and take a peek at the pictures. Um, I posted in the comment section to see how the animals looked. You can also go online with mom and dad and look up more pictures and videos on totems to see if you can get some ideas from that. But I want it to be your own. I don't want you to have a picture of a totem up on your computer and you copying it down. I want it to be your own. So think of your own designs, be very creative. You're a very creative bunch. So I know that you guys are going to come up with something amazing, but I want it to be your own. So for today, during projects, you are sketching your animal. So what I did was I sketched out my whole animal and then I actually put in very light pencil, the colors that I wanted to use on my animals. So I know when I go back tomorrow and start to color it in, I know what colors I'm going to use. So most important thing, you don't have to color it in today. That's something we're going to do tomorrow. But when you look at the totems, they only use specific colors and the specific colors are black, white, red, yellow, green, and blue. Some animals only have two colors. Some animals have three. Some have a lot of two colors and just a little bit of a third color, but those are the colors you can use. You don't have to use all of them. It's whatever you choose, but remember that's for tomorrow. So good luck sketching. I can't wait to see what you come up with. I'm very excited because when you are done, we are going to make our own totem pole. And you might ask, how are we going to make a totem pole? Well, when you're all done creating your totem and it's all colored in and ready to go, I'm going to ask your parents to really zoom in and take a picture of your totem and they will email it to me. And what I will do is I will print out all of your totems when I get them all. And I'm going to put them together and construct a paper totem in my house. And when it's all done, I will take a picture and send it to you guys. And I will also post it on the Facebook page. And this is a really fun project. I love doing it with my classes. All the classes before I've had a really fun time doing it. If we were at school, we would actually be doing them out of milk jugs and then we would construct it and put it outside of the classroom door. Um, but since we're not at school, this is the next best thing. 
and then you guys will have a picture of it that you can keep and maybe you can print it out and keep it at home or whatever you'd like to do with it. But it's a really fun project and I cannot wait to see what animals you chose and how you drew them out. So have fun.